Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how do you add a contact button on your product page so that we have it right there. If anyone has a question on that product, all they have to do is click on that button and it will redirect them to your contact page so that they can complete the contact form. It's pretty simple to do. If we go into our admin panel here, in our debut theme, if we click on edit code, we want to go to the product template file. If you look on the left hand side here, you'll see that we have product template. That's the file that we want to be in. And if we scroll all the way down towards page 200 and or, or line 230, where this payment button is, we're going to add our own button right here. And this will just be a link. It's going to be an A tag, anchor tag, href. And I'm just going to hard code the, I'm just going to hard code the link here. But if you certainly want to, you can add another section so that this is dynamic based on user configuration. And let's give this a class. And save it. If I refresh my button or refresh my page here, I see we now have contact. What we could do is if we wanted to add our own styling, and again, I'm going to just go ahead and hard code my styling in here to say with just like that. Refresh. Oh. I must not have it working. Oh, I need to add in my 100%, not 100px. Sorry. Right there. Perfect. Contact. And if I click on it, it brings me to the contact page. Now what I want, I'm going to add some additional code right here where the message will be auto populated with the product name, the name of the product. Now, how do I do that? It's pretty neat. What I'll do is I'll add what's called a URL, URL parameter of product. And in here, we're just going to pass it in the product title. And if we click on this, once we refresh here, if we click on contact, you'll notice that up top in the URL, we'll see that we now have a product, what's called parameter. That being said, we can go into where that contact page is. If you go to your, not your snippets, right here. If you go into your templates, page contact, at the very bottom, let's add some JavaScript code here. Now, I'm not going to have you watch me write JavaScript code. I'm going to copy this in. You can certainly pause the video here. All right. But what I'm doing here is I am going out, grabbing what's in my URL, grabbing any parameters that are in there. At this, at this point, it's only just the one, grabbing the product URL parameter and then go and find that text area set the value of that text area to whatever the value of that parameter is because of this JavaScript code right here if we refresh our contact page we now see sundress is right here and if we go and click on a different product, doesn't really matter which one it is, click on contact, we now see contact, or excuse me, cocktail right here. And if we go to shirts, let's go and find a shirt, long sleeve, click on contact, long sleeve. That way the user doesn't have to do that themselves. It's user friendly in that it's automatically loaded for them.
that's how you add a contact button to your product page.